Hey guys, uh, Rich here, Collector Car Gallery, Fort Wayne. This is one of our warehouses in town. Um, we're doing a, I'm just going to do a quick walk around video for a potential online buyer. Um, I always like to start my videos with like um, showing that we can do a cold start on these vehicles just so we can see 63 degrees here, the concrete. Go to the manifold. Cold start. Let's see the radiator. Uh, 63. So, you know, water pump. You guys know that I'm doing a cold start here. So, put this away. <clears throat> I'll just do a quick buzz around this car and then I'll do an underside video too for a potential online buyer. Um, we're looking at this 1966 Chevrolet Corvette original, original, original condition. Okay. Uh, this thing has never been restored, bought from the original owner's uh, family and uh, from his estate. The Car has the original paint, uh, original interior, original engine. Engine's never been out of the car. Uh, if this guy was guilty of anything, it was tinkering just a little bit. And I don't say tinkering, um, but things like, you know, it, it, he's clearly repainted like valve covers and stuff like that over the years. Um, nice looking tower clamps and stuff on this thing. Looks like we've got some of the correct style hoses. This is a ribbed hose right here also. Um, uh, very highly original car. And, you know, this is one of those cars that when you know, you know, okay? Uh, I will look at the engine compartment here in a second. We're going to buzz around the car, then we're going to start it, and then I'll get it outside and put it on the lift, or put, get it over here over the lift here in a second. Uh, if there's anything on this car that, <clears throat> now I love this stuff, um, but what probably someone was guilty of at some point in time was getting a little heavy-handed uh, on this car because it is the original paint, you can see like right here, someone just got a little heavy handed when they're polishing. Um, I love that. And for judging purposes, this, this look, this goes great. You know, I mean, the paint's not, not checked anywhere, really. It's not popping or doing the bird's foot or anything anywhere stuff. But uh, someone has just gotten a little, you know, aggressive with a polisher and polished it a little bit. I actually had uh, one, the, the, the person in the family said, well, obviously uncle had a, uh, a pinstripe on the car because we were going to try to polish this off. And I said, no, please don't do that <laughs> because what, you know, we're obviously we're looking at an original bonding strip showing through. And so we love that in the Corvette community. We love seeing that it's got original bonding strips in the car. Um, the chrome, I mean, chrome's never been replaced. A little dusty in here right now, excuse me. Chrome's never been replaced. Uh, the car's never been painted. We can see like a little bit of, um, there's a, some minor, minor stress, stressing in the paint just right in this, in the crease here. Uh, really, really minor stuff right here, but overall, you know, the car is just in exceptional original condition. All right. I'm getting off track here. Let me get, get walking around. Let's show the pad here real quick too. I sent pictures of it, but <clears throat> the stamp just doesn't get much better than this. I mean, on this, on a car like this, you know, everything that you, you're looking for, you know, I mean, great, great size of the characters, um, great brooch marks, uh, see if this camera will focus great looking brooch marks well i guess the picture is going to be the way to go <clears throat> the um all the other parts in the car appear to be original um looks like we got a little maybe seep seep coming from there um you know you could you look inside and you can see great looking bonding strips up in the up in the fenders also so uh ooh, everybody likes this too this is kind of a everybody likes seeing this also right what is it 13 over i guess something like that uh you can tell these gutters have never been painted either so that's great no tape lines up in here um you can tell it's the original front end on the car which everybody loves that also uh, original top. I mean, crazy, right? And when you know, you know. When you know what's original, you know what's original. Look at this thing. I've got the hard top for this car. Hard top was on the car just to ha have it delivered. 
and that was it. Got original belt molding, original window felt, you know, original window squeegee here. You never see this. I mean, it's just incredible, you know? And you never see original weather strip on the car. I mean, incredible. Look at this. The Corvette guys out there in the world are gonna love this. Love, love the the messy, the messy aged looking yellow goop, right? <clears throat> So, uh, I just noticed the battery's not connected. Give me one moment here. If you really want to take this car to a show, you might, I'd score, I'd try to score a, a real Delco battery for this. So you get all, you know, you get all 12 points. Interior light kicks on. Got one little, I, I, and I don't even want to want to fix it because it's original. But I got one little spot where the seam is pulling is pulling apart, right there in the butt of the car, the butt of the driver's seat. But nothing, you know, nowhere here, nowhere anywhere else. Door panels are in great shape. I mean, excellent, excellent shape. The steering wheel is gorgeous. Dash is gorgeous. You know, you got to use some care plopping your butt down into this thing, but I'll fire this car up real quick though, and then we'll kind of look at the interior a little bit more. <laughs> I love it. God. Chugging away. What a beauty. What a beaut. Clock doesn't seem to be clocking like it's supposed to. <clears throat> you can see here we're not smoking or anything like that. I mean, really nice. Let's shut this off. I'll do this real quick for you. I got... Probably got a small vacuum leak. Looks like looks like my headlights aren't popping up like they're supposed to. Let me run the car a little bit and then we'll go we'll check that again. We're on the tail end of the car. Again, chrome is great. Chrome looks nice. This is always a rear bumper exhaust car. Um, never never a side pipe car. This one wasn't. Um, you know, nice looking hubcaps. One year for those hubcaps also in 1966, I believe. Maybe, you know what, five also. You could have got those in five, I think. Good Again, great, great looking, just barely showing through, like a bonding strip, just barely showing through. Um, Corvette guys out there, you'll love that stuff. We got a... Original gas cap. Original gas cap on this car. Also. Nice. Very tidy. Again, you know, the car, the car looks great. Uh, there's just, you know, you can tell where, you know, the polishing has kind of, it's got a little bit of, um, you know, heavy, not so heavy. Someone really didn't do it a lot of favors by doing that, but I'm sure they felt like they were doing the right thing at the time. Door gaps are awesome on the car. More of that gorgeous original weather stripping. Passenger seat, immaculate. Absolutely immaculate condition. All right, let's get this thing on a lift, and then we can um, look around a little bit more. All right. Thanks, guys. Collector Car Gallery, Fort Wayne, Indiana.